CBS 42 News reporter Jack Royer is joining us now in the newsroom with the latest on the investigation. Jack? Lee, a wild night for a police force already stretched thin by connected crimes that turned out to be as tragic as they were confusing. And tonight, new video that gives us a glimpse of the chaos from the suspect's perspective. Incredible video streamed live to Facebook shows the moment a suspect's car collides with a Birmingham police cruiser late Friday night. Now, with two officers recovering, police are investigating a homicide. They say a man was following his son in a car after his son had stolen his grandmother's credit card to buy an iPhone. Then someone from that car begins shooting back at the dad, but a bullet hits a 20-year-old bystander, Antonio Brooks, a man unrelated to the incident driving another car. Suffering from a gunshot wound, Brooks crashed his car into a house on Jefferson Avenue. He was pronounced dead at the scene. The dad was not injured by gunfire from his son's car. Then police spot the shooting suspect's vehicle and begin chasing it. That's when the suspect's car collides with a Birmingham police cruiser at Grant Avenue and 18th Street Southwest. Police aren't sure if that collision was intentional. This was a tr just pure demonstration of recklessness, carelessness. Uh, there could have been more people hurt last night. Uh, and the sad note, you know, we could have lost two officers last night, but, but we did not. Edwards tells CBS 42 the names of the injured Birmingham police officers will likely be released Sunday as they continue to recover from back and neck injuries, among other things, in serious condition. You know, you really can't make this stuff up. And it's so unfortunate that young people can't find anything else to do. Interconnected Friday night crimes that left two police officers on a rocky road to recovery. Now, coming up tonight at 10, hear what police say has to happen in Birmingham in order to limit these types of crimes from continuing to happen. For now, reporting live in the newsroom, Jack Royer, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.